Sawadee Krupp. It was allegedly Albert Einstein who said, education is what is left when you've forgotten what has been learnt. As we start back for the new academic year here at RST and following on from the last two weeks of A-level and IGCSE results, the first formal public examinations for two years, I found myself thinking a lot about education over the past month. It certainly is, as Einstein says, what is left when you strip away everything that you had to learn in class at school. It is character, resilience, emotional intelligence, empathy, cultural sensitivity and intellectual maturity. So what is the purpose of education? The etymology of the word education is from the Latin educatio, which means bringing up or rearing. And this is quite a nice way of looking at it. It is the making of an adult, the formation of a talented, employable, happy, dedicated and successful person. As I pondered this more and more, I settled upon four main purposes of education as we see it today. Firstly, it must be the preparation for and ability to succeed in publicly recognised examinations. The hurdles that we put in the educational sprint to measure the perceived ability of a student. But this is certainly not the sole purpose of education, and this will be much of what is forgotten, as mentioned in Einstein's quote. However, good grades are the passport to the next stage of a young adult's life, and the better the passport, the more doors and opportunities will be open to our students. I was delighted with our students' A-level and GCSE results, and many of our leavers have secured amazing places at highly prestigious universities all over the world. What is most impressive is how well these students have done against their standardised predictors, as this shows that we have improved the average grade of every GCSE and A-level student on average from between 0.9 to 1 grade per subject. That is an amazing achievement and huge congratulations to every student and teacher for that level of improvement. Secondly, education must stretch, develop and improve our minds, our thinking and especially our creative and critical thinking. The subjects we study, the enrichment programme we undertake, must improve our minds and make us nimble in thought and creativity. Different subjects develop different parts of our brain and if we get our curriculum balanced and delivered properly, we will exercise and improve all of our brains. Thirdly, education must be forward-looking and prepare for the world of work and future employment. Learning skills and studying subjects and topics that are relevant and useful in today's and tomorrow's global workplace are important. This is, by the way, one of the reasons that we are phasing out our French teaching and focusing on the more useful languages of English, Spanish and Mandarin for future employment and business. Finally, education is the whole person. It is the building of transferable skills, what we call our learner profile attributes, and developing character and virtues. It is what is left, the important and long-lasting bit, after we have forgotten all we had prepared for and revised for those public examination hurdles. It is what makes us who we are. A very wise old teacher told me when I was launching my teaching career, young people need to be formed, not just informed. And that is certainly what education is about. I'm delighted to welcome you all back to RST and I hope to see you all soon and for us all to really enjoy an uninterrupted educational provision this year. Cop crap. Mm -hmm.